morning, everybody. Uh, we're still in town. It's Tuesday morning. Uh, we're in Front Royal. We're just going to go into uh, Martin's Food and Pharmacy for a resupply um, real quick, which means we're not going to get on trail till a little later today, like later this morning, I hope. And uh, it'll be a shorter day, probably. But we need like four, they say three or four days worth of food, so let's go check it out. Okay, we're back at the hotel. We're just gonna go in and uh, get ready and do our food and stuff. And then head out. Okay, uh, we're at the trailhead and uh, it looks like rain's coming in, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how many miles we can do anyways. And uh, it's about 10.30 right now, so it's not gonna be a full day, but it'll be close. We'll get some miles in. This is so interesting. I know, right? This yeah. Woo! Yeah. Trail magic! Thank you so Hello. much. Nice to meet you, lady. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we had some nice trail magic uh, from a guy named Why Not. Uh, big shout out, super nice guy. He threw hike the AT in 2015. Um, he had soda, chips, snacks, all kinds of good stuff. It was fun. Thanks, Why Not. Always. The first day back after a zero is always a big climb. It's not always a welcome one for me. Sometimes I'm a little sluggish out of the gate. Anyways, we're about halfway up this climb and it's uh, it's a good one. It's winding me and the rain hasn't come yet. It keeps threatening to little sprinkles and wind and so on and that very electric smell that you get just before a rainstorm so it is coming it's just a matter of when <laughs> we were uh, talking this morning about how far it is to Harper's Ferry uh, that's the next town we're coming up on and for those that don't know, Harpers Ferry is also where the ATC is. It's the governing body for the Appalachian Trail. Um, we might stop in there, I don't know, we'll see. But at any rate, uh, I think we're gonna zero there, or Nero, I'm not sure, but definitely gotta resupply there. Uh, but also, uh, I think just a little past it uh, is the halfway mark and the half gallon ice cream challenge. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but uh, basically you gotta eat a half gallon ice cream <laughs> in one sitting. Uh, now you might throw up after, <laughs> but that's the challenge. So am I gonna take the challenge? Oh yeah, you know I will. <laughs> no question about it. I look forward to that. Anyways, we were talking about it, and it's going to mark a milestone because uh, we're coming up on half done, half done the trail, which is, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it, you know, I mean, oops, I know that rock was not solid. So yeah, the ice cream challenge and the new milestone of half done, which is what, 1097, something like that. Because uh, it's 2194 the trail. So 1097 would be halfway point. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna celebrate with a beer for that one. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, 
Here goes down good after a long sweaty day of hiking for sure. Anyway, I'll uh, be sure to show you that when we get to it. Wow, very nice little shelter. Very nice. There's even a shower. That's impressive. Big huge fire pit. Wow. Wow. Anyways, we're moving on. River crossing. Supposed to do a selfie with the bear. Chester the bear. Chester. Okay. Doing a climb. We're out of the restaurant. Drank way too much, as usual. Made an ass of myself, as usual. And we got like six miles, apparently, to go. But it's already almost six o'clock, so I best get my night light out because Guess we did it again. We're scurrying late at night, but that's okay. Hey everybody, update. Okay, so it's like close to seven o'clock. Well, actually it's just after seven, I just checked. Um, we're uh, running late. We didn't get out of the, the bar till five-ish. Um, so we got about five miles left i'm definitely going to be uh hiking in the dark and which is fine i love hiking in the dark um it's raining pretty steady and our total for the day will end up being around 15 which is fine it keeps us on track we're looking to get into uh, we're looking to get into Harper's Ferry uh, probably Sunday. Uh, this is Wednesday, I believe. No, Tuesday. Sorry, Tuesday. Yeah, and we came out of uh, Front Royal. Front Royal was not one of my more fun times, but they can't all be perfect. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what do we, what else we got planned? So that's pretty much it. You know, I don't know if we're going to take a, even take a zero, um, in the next town, to be honest. Uh, we've been zeroing a lot. I mean, I just double zeroed, so <laughs> that's, that's a lot. It adds up. But yeah, I mean, which, and the zeros are fun, but you can, it's a trap. You can get trapped by it. So, um, we try to be careful. Try to just stay out on trail and uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I've been trying to get just some views, but honestly, everything's fogged over. It's rainy, it's wet. There's no real vistas or, um, you know, it's really not much except just the trail, you know, to look at, uh, which I know for a lot of people is, is great. It's everything. And I, I guess I tend to forget that sometimes, that really, it's all about the trail. It's not about the magnificent views all the time. I mean, they're great, magnificent views are great. But yeah, no, I, uh, I get it. You know, people don't want as much music and stuff. They want more of the actual, <laughs> So anyways, uh, it's, it was a good day, really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, this will be a good run. We're gonna have water every day though. We're gonna have rain just about every day coming into Harper's Ferry. So, uh, you know, that'll be a little trying, I think, uh, because it is a challenge keeping your gear dry, especially on the AT with such a big canopy, uh, keep some moisture in. Um, very grassy, very, you know, a lot of foliage, so a lot of condensation, a lot of rain, moisture, just all around something you really have to sort of, uh, you know, prepare for and 
be ready for. And, you know, just not get frustrated. You know, it's a thing. I mean, it is what it is. You're not going to change it. So, like, I mean, who cares? It's too warm out here to actually experience. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, you can get hypothermic. You know, you can be hypothermic at, in 80 degrees. But uh, I don't see that happening here, really, too much at this point for the next few hundred miles at least. Uh, up until we get up into the northern sections where it gets really cold again, I'll send out for my heavier pack and my, my, uh, you know, just my heavier gear in general, which I think is prudent uh, for doing, you know, Baxter Park and that'll, that'll come near the end. I mean, that's more August, September, uh, I believe. And it, and it will be at least September before I'm done because uh, we just don't do enough miles to justify getting done any quicker. Um, so, but that being said, I am getting stronger. So much stronger, in fact, that I, uh, I can really feel it in the hike itself. Um, and like I already alluded to a couple times before, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Okay, that's uh, Manassas Gaff Shelter. We're going to skip that one because we're in a bit of a rush. We're going through to the next one. Uh, and the light is not so much longer. Like, we won't have it much longer. So... I'm gonna push on. Hey guys, sorry I didn't have much in the way to show you today. There really wasn't much to see. Um, I'm about half a mile from uh, the shelter that we're supposed to go to. Um, I passed cheese and fox uh, about three miles ago and they assured me that Roadrunner wasn't far ahead but I've been going full and I mean full throttle uh, I've done over three miles this hour which is insanely fast for a trail and she's nowhere to be found so I'm about to ask her if she's okay if, if I have coverage we got to take care of each other so you know whether I got to go back like that I pass her is she injured you know it's just safety out here is is key